Hi everyone, let's talk about Chevas theorem for triangles. First of all, we need to know what a Chevian is. So let's say we have a triangle that looks like this. Then a Chevian is a line segment that has one end point on a vertex and one end point on the opposite line segment of the triangle. And we then draw this pink line segment that you can see here. So this segment is called a Chevian. And what Chevas theorem talks about is when you have a triangle like this and you are talking about Chevians from all three vertices being concurrent at some point in the interior of the triangle like this orange point here. Let's call it P. So we, we want to characterize exactly when that happens and there's going to be two directions to the theorem. In the first direction, suppose we're, let's, let's call this these points uh, A up here, B down here, C down here x here, y here, and z here. And suppose ax, by, and cz are concurrent at p. So in this direction we're assuming that there is a point of concurrency. In the other direction we're going to prove that there's a point of concurrency. So let's see what criteria we end up with. We're going to be using a certain amazing algebraic fact that if you have the ratios A over B equals to C over D, then A over B and C over D also equals to A minus C over B minus D and A plus C over B plus D, assuming these denominators don't equal to zero. And you can prove this just by clearing the denominators. Um, I believe it's called a cross multiplication and just expanding out. So when we use this, we get the following result. Because B, BX and triangle ABX and ACX share a height, this height here, I'm just going to erase it so that it doesn't get too messy. We find that BX over XC is equal to the area of ABX over the area of ACX and that is also equal to the area of PBX over the area of PCX because there's a common height for those two triangles here. So what we can do is subtract these numerators to get ABX minus PBX over ACX minus PCX and what we find is that Th these are equal to this triangle here. So that's triangle ABP over this triangle here. So it's triangle area of triangle ACP. So that's our first result. And we can make analogous equations. So what we get then is that CY over YA is equal to B, the area of BCP divided by the area of BAP and we also find that analogously AZ over ZB is equal to the area of CAP divided by the area of CBP. And now what we're going to do is that we're just going to multiply all these equations together. So we've got 
this equals to this. So that's our first equation. We've got this over here. That's our second equation. And this over here, that's our third equation. So let's multiply it all out. If we multiply it all out, we get that bx over xc times cy over ya times az over zb is equal to abp over acp times bcp over bap times cap over cbp so uh, let's see what cancellations we get here we get that abp and bap cancel out we get that BCP and CPB cancel out and we get that CAP and ACP cancel out so in the end we're just left with one that's a pretty amazing criterion that this quantity over here this product of ratios is equal to one now let's go in the other direction because this is Chebas theorem that we just proved but the converse of Chavas theorem also works as well. So suppose bx over xc times cy over ya times az over zb is equal to 1. What we're going to be doing is using a technique called phantom points which sounds ridiculous but it's actually quite useful especially in Olympia geometry so suppose we have a triangle ABC and suppose that we draw the Chevian out of B which goes to Y and the Chevian that goes out of C which goes to Z and we're we don't know if the Chevian out of A is going to go through this point, but we're going to we're going to show that it does. So let's say let's say it's, it's just some generic Chevian like this that goes to X here. And suppose we draw the Chevian that does go through P and through A, and we're going to say that hits BC at X prime. What we want is that x equals to x prime and that's what we're going to show the phantom point is this x prime so let's show that x equals to x prime by Cheva and this is one of those cases where one direction of a theorem proves its own converse so by Cheva since ax prime does go through the concurrency point we get that bx prime over x prime c times C prime over Y A times A Z over Z B equals to 1 and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the assumption here and we're going to take our derived formula here we're going to set them equal to each other so what we end up getting is that B X over X C is equal to B X prime over X prime C but we also know something else we know that BC is equal to BX plus XC and we know that that's also equal to BX prime plus XC prime sorry it should be X prime C so what that tells us is that we can make a substitution from here into here and into here we get that BC minus XC over XC is equal to BC minus X prime C over X prime C and that immediately leads us into saying that XC is equal to 
x prime c and because of what we have up here it also tells us that bx is equal to bx prime so what that means is that we have x here and we have x prime here but they have to be the same point because the distance of x and x prime from b is the same and the distance of x and x prime from c is the same. That's what these two equations say. So that means that x equals to x prime and we know that the Chevians are concurrent. So that proves the converse of Chevas theorem. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.